your family check? And that's yes, where they my mother on my mother's side. Oh, okay. They lived on Ocean Avenue. Uh, my grandparents came here about 1923 or so, built a house on Ocean Avenue, and they had a poultry farm. Oh, my mother. Right there on Ocean Right Avenue. there on Ocean Avenue. Wow. A good sized property? They had five acres. Wow. They owned from Ocean Avenue to Sycamore Avenue. But that was the way the properties ran here in Bohemia. They always ran from street to street. You know, uh, you, you owned from Ocean to Sycamore, or you owned from on the other side of Ocean, uh, it would be Ocean to Locust, you know, Locust to Walnut. Those are the way the, that was the way the properties were divided. It wasn't until much later that they chopped them off. What was the name of the chicken? farm or, or business? Emanofsky's Chicken Farm. <laughs> my grandparents' name was Emanofsky and uh, she, my, my grandmother really had the whole operation going. My grandfather was a tailor and my grandmother had this whole business going and she would um, make orders. That's what she called it. She's come, we're going to make, she, she raised me actually. We, my mom and I lived with, with my uh, grandparents. And uh, my mom went to work, she taught school, and my grandmother raised me. And she would say, come on, today we gotta make orders. And that meant she was delivering uh, slaughtered chickens at to, and eggs over to the sportsman's club. So oh, I caught wow. on. That was one of her biggest clients. Wow. Yeah. But I remember as a kid, people coming for fresh eggs or chicken or whatever it was that she had. So the sportsman's club was active at the time. Oh, In other yes. words, they, they had, yes. the, well, it was like a lodge, right? Yes, it was a lodge, yes. They had, you know, they had the big building, the building is still there. They've, tried to, they've done some restoration to that building. And the men would come out from the city, um, and they would have a place to eat, sleep, and drink, and go hunting. Very nice. And they had to be fed, and my grandmother supplied them with eggs and fresh chicken. And was that like once a week that she would go over that way? Oh, geez, I don't remember. I would imagine depending on how busy they were. You know, in the winter it probably wasn't as, as often as the, as the summer. And how did she get the stuff there? Did she have a truck? Oh, no, no, a car. We went in the car. You had a car? We had a car. Okay. And um, did you ice, like, have to ice them or you just brought them pretty quickly? Oh, see, over? I don't remember that part of it. But would they, if that all happened, those those chickens were slaughtered in the morning and they were, the feathers were plucked and, and that was gone already by, you know, the latest would be the next day. Wow. I mean, that, we talk about fresh chicken. Yeah. You know? Did your grandmother have, like, a lot of workers with it? No, was I was a worker. <laughs> <laughs> it, was a, it was just a family operation. It was a family operation. Uh, my um, my uncles helped. I uh, had two. Um, my mom, my mom, and uh, my mom had two two brothers. My mother was the oldest, and then there were two brothers. And uh, my my grandparent, they had the house here in Bohemia. My mom and dad split up when I was about I guess about three years old. So my mother came back here. She she lived in Huntington for a short time. She came back here to live with my my grandparents because she had to go to work now, mm -hmm. and my you know and was, my grandmother had to take care of me. And uh, in the meantime, out of all of this, about eight years before I was born, my uncle was born. So my mother my <sighs> mother took care of my uncle because. You know, he was just a little baby, and then she had me. <laughs> so we were all these young kids, two young kids running around the house. On a chicken oh, farm. On a chicken farm, <laughs> barefoot. And, uh, you know, but my uncles helped when they could. My, you know, part of the time, I, the older brother was in, in the service, so he was not around. But he would write letters home. I have some of the letters he wrote home. Be sure to help mom with the, with the chickens, you know, help her feed those chickens. And, because my grandfather was doing the tailoring business. Yeah. And where was the tailoring business? Out of the house as well? Some of it was out of the house, yeah. Well, I, was, I would say most of it was out of the house. There again, uh, my grandfather did piecework for uh, a uniform manufacturer in the city. And my grandmother would take the finished piecework to the railroad station, take it all in, and bring out more work for him. 
Mm. And she would take care of the poultry farm. Busy so a busy woman. She was talk, we were talking about strong women. She was she was a strong woman. Did she also cook cook dinner? Oh. Of course. Every night. And, and not with a microwave. <laughs> <laughs> and there was no no dominoes <laughs> no, 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 no. No. As I got as as I got older, I can remember uh, she was taking care of my kids while I was going to school and taking care of my uncle's kids next door. Uh, so she had all these children running around her. And uh, I'd come home and uh, she would have maybe six or seven apple pies out on the table that she had made and a huge pot of soup. And you were instructed to take your apple pie home and your pot of soup, and that was your supper. Now you will go home. <laughs> and then she gave it to the others too. It's worth you know? it to her. <laughs> yes, yes, it was. Yes, it was. I don't know how she did it, but she did. Did she live a long life? Yeah, she was. She was in her late seventies. That's good. For those was, days. Yeah, right? for those days it was good. She passed away in, um, I guess it was like 1970. And what was her name? Mary. Mary. She was Mary Masick or Matsik Marie. And then um, when she got married, she married William Imanovsky. And I can spell that for you. <laughs> and, you might want to do that. <laughs> and then um, two brothers, my grandfather and his brother. And my grandmother and her sister, two brothers, married two sisters. Oh, how nice. Yeah. So you know everybody tight. will get along. Pretty no. much. So. Well, they did. They did yeah, get along. Yeah. Yeah. The sisters didn't allow them. Yeah. 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 Good. And, and so, fun. so you would bring it over to the, the um, sportsmen's club. Do you know what they made with the chickens? Like, oh, did well, they I just roasted chickens? They probably chicken just roasted them. Chicken. They had a cook there. They had cooks there. They, yeah. The guys didn't do it. They had they cooks had, there. They, they had, had a cook there. They probably had. Yeah. Roasted chicken, or uh, they used right. to make that chicken fricassee kind of stuff. You know? Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Well, yeah. But uh, yeah, that's what she did. And so you you would pluck chickens and pick up the I, eggs. No, I was not allowed to pluck chickens. I don't know why, but I was not allowed to pluck chickens. That was not, I think because it went into hot water. Oh yeah. You know, they had yeah. to throw those chickens into the hot water. <sighs> but I did collect eggs. I did candle eggs. Which is what. To see if there were blood spots in them. Okay. Oh. And, and oh, you put the candle. And there was it was a, it was like a little pot with a light bulb in it. It was like an upside down, an upside down uh, hanging light. You know, it was upside down. And then there was a a, a plate like over it with holes, and uh, that it was small, medium, and large eggs. You know, so as you were candling them, you knew small, medium, and large. That was my job too. And then you had the cartons. You would put them. In yeah, cartons. we put them in cartons. Yeah, and then the, the cartons went into into bigger boxes. Wow! So she had quite an operation. Oh yes, yeah. She ordered the cartons from somewhere. I'm I guess sure. so. I don't know where that came from. I oh. remember. I remember the guy coming with the with the chicken feed. Oh, you you got the chicken feed from outside. Yeah, that came from uh, Central Iceland from G G L F. I would come in the back. We you know as the like chicken. Oh yeah, everybody knew it. Yeah, everybody knew it. Yeah. So there you were, there were a lot of people in in town. Yeah. yeah, and then um, there were other poultry farms here too. There was one directly across the street from us. Um, it was not as big as ours, and then there was another. It was they did mostly turkeys on um, Hugel, the corner of Hugel and uh, Sycamore. And I can remember going there as a kid. My grandmother would go, we're going to pick out the turkey. <laughs> and there were, was plenty of business for everybody? Oh, yeah. yeah. You did, did some people like ship outside of? I would imagine, yeah. I was very young. I, would, I, I don't really know, but I would imagine like people, like the, uh, the people across the street, I'm going to say that they probably did ship into New York and so on because they originally came from New York. So they probably had, and they had a bakery in New York, so they probably had contact and so on. Right. For those eggs. Interesting. <laughs> now, was your grandmother from Czechoslovakia? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Hechani. She was from Hechani, and my grandfather was from Krakovani. Oh, oh, yeah, I was there. Oh, I you went, went there. Back. I went back. Yeah, I, went, I didn't get to Hechani, but I did go to Krakovani. Oh, yeah. Did she ever go back? Oh, yes. She went back twice. 
that I know of. Yeah. She brought back all of this Czechoslovakia and crystal cut glass. She left all her clothes there for her relatives to check back. Okay. All this cut crystal. Wow. Yeah. Because, because she missed it, or that was something that she loved? And the same family. She, both. Both. The family was there. Her family was still there. Right. When I went there, there was still a family there. There's still family there now. Um, but she loved, you know, she, she missed them terribly, and she helped them as, mm -hmm. as much as she could. She was only like 16 years old when she came here. Aww. Did she come on her own, or did she come She came with by herself. All by herself? And she had to her. go. She had to leave. She was the oldest one. My grandfather, too. He had oh. to leave his family. And it was because they just didn't have enough. There were other little children that had to be fed and clothed at home. So she had to come here, and she came here, and she was a maid. And my grandfather was, he, he was an apprentice tailor. And they met in evening school, at night school. They both, they did not know one another when they came here, but they met there in school. And learning they, English. Learning English, oh yes. yes. They wow. They were very proud to be, they were citizens, they were very, very proud to be here. So that was in the city? That was in the city, they married city. in the city. My mom was actually born, in, I think my older city too. On the, the the there was a Czech neighborhood there in the in the city of, of um, like between Yorkville and First Avenue up in the seventies upper seventies. And they still like the Bohemian Hall is still there and active. Oh. And the Bohemian National Hall was taken over by the Friends I believe by the Friends of Czechoslovakia and they got money from mm -hmm. Czechoslovakia to, to restore that building. Both of those buildings Store. So that's where they originally were when they came here. In that area, yeah. yes. Yeah. And so how did they discover this, Bohemia, this town? Well, my grandfather had an uncle that lived here. So I'm assuming that that's how he got, that he got here. There was an uncle that lived here. He, he was a tailor also. They were all tailors. Oh, right. So maybe there was business yeah. or something. I'm really not quite sure how how it came upon Bohemia, but it was all word of mouth, you know. They there was this Bohemia was all Bohemians. There was maybe a few Germans, a couple of Irish people, maybe not not too many. It was all Czech people, and it was all um, like I went to school. I knew more Czech than I did English because that's what we spoke at home. My grandparents knew how to speak. English, and of course they went out, like my grandmother went out into the world, they, you know, selling her chickens and eggs, so she had to speak it. But at home, amongst ourselves, at the dinner table and everything, it was mostly Czech that was spoken. It wasn't until, really, until my uncles got married that they spoke more English.